Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my full process with Lay's MD. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. If you're new here, you might not know, but I have struggled with my skin for as long as I can remember. And back in 2020, I went through the process of starting to try to fix my skin. And I did a set of three chemical peels over the summer before I got married, hoping that my skin would be fixed before my wedding. And I actually did a full video on it. So I will link it up in the cards if you're interested in that. But long story short, the chemical peels really didn't do much for my skin. They didn't get rid of all the dark spots that I was really concerned about. And then I decided to do IPL and I had a consultation for IPL. They did a test patch and then, um, after that, I found out that I was pregnant, so I could not go through with the IPL treatment. And then fast forward to now, I was finally ready to start again, and I went and had a consultation, and they suggested I did Lay's MD instead of IPL. The woman said that it is less painful and that the results are better, and so I decided to go for it. So that is the process that I went through. I'm gonna show you guys the befores, updates, afters, the whole deal. I totally forgot to show earlier. I am about to take my makeup off and I just remembered. I wanted to show you what my skin looks like with makeup on the spots that you can see. I've been wearing this makeup for like 14 hours, so it's definitely not looking its best anymore, but I still wanted to show you. So over here, I've got some spots. It's mostly like in my jawline, so right here, and then also like, this is a big one, and then over here I have most of them on this side. So you can definitely see all right there. So that is with makeup on. I will show you tomorrow before I have the procedure what my bare face looks like and then hopefully with just like a medium coverage foundation next week everything will look flawless. That is the hope. Um, but yeah, I will check in tomorrow before I go to have it done. Today is the day that I'm getting in at my Lays MD treatment. Um, I'm getting it this afternoon, but I just put some moisturizer on and I wanted to show you my skin without any makeup on. And I'm going, hopefully it won't be too cloudy today and I will be able to get a good clip in the car where there's a lot of natural light because I think you'll be able to see it even better. But this is my naked skin. So you can see over on the side, it is really bad. All right here, all right there. And then on this side, I've got these spots, which these two really bother me. Some spots over here and then those. Overall, I mean, there are quite a few spots, so I guess we'll see how the treatment goes and what the transformation is from today to next week. Like the professional YouTuber that I am, I don't have an SD card in my camera, so I'm recording from my phone. Don't mind the home goods bag in the back. So here is in the natural sunlight what my skin looks like. I'm trying to avoid the sun as much as possible so I can get a decent look, but I'm very red. So this is like five minutes post-treatment. I just got to my car. My skin feels so hot. So I will check in a little bit later today, but this is how it feels as of now. I am home. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes I'd say since I got the treatment. My skin is still so red and I have this roller. It's just a frozen ice roller that's really good for depuffing, but it feels so good. I actually got it for my headaches, but it feels really, really good on my skin right now. So I'm just going to ice roll my entire face. They said that this feeling could last through the whole day and that it should feel like a sunburn maybe until tomorrow and then I can put makeup on and it'll just be really dry starting tomorrow so that is the update for now 
It is 9.15 and I'm getting ready to wash my face and get ready for bed. But I wanted to show you one more check-in today. So the treatment was over around like 3 or 3.15. So it's been like six hours-ish. Um, my skin is definitely still pretty red. But the redness has gone down quite a bit. So tomorrow I will be able to wear makeup and she said that it would feel probably like sandpaper which it already feels like not as smooth as I'm used to but it doesn't feel dry or anything. They did put a moisturizer on it after the treatment was over so that's the update for now. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I feel like my forehead is not red anymore but everything else is. So we'll see what it looks like in the morning when I wake up. It is Wednesday morning and I just got out of the shower and I wanted to show you my skin before I put some makeup on. So I'm definitely still red. You can see like the outline of where they stopped doing it closer to my eyes. Uh, the main difference today is that my skin feels like sandpaper. It is so rough. I wish that you could feel it so that you could just tell, but I don't feel like it looks like sandpaper. Like even up close, I was looking at it and I can't see it, but it just feels like that. So and it's crazy because I just, I go like this and then as soon as I go under, it's smooth again. So I'm going to put makeup on. I will show you how makeup lays on top of it. I have no idea if you'll be able to see some of the texture under my makeup, but we're about to find out together. Also, I did want to note when I was in the shower, as soon as I would touch my face, it felt like it was sunburned. And when I washed my face and then rinsed it under the shower, it burned like a sunburn does. Like when you get in the shower and your skin is sunburned, it was just like that tingly, like burning sensation. So that is an update for now. I just finished up my makeup and I feel like I look like a clown. It is so harsh under my eyes because they didn't do any treatment and my skin is just still red and i i could tell that it was red but i guess i didn't know the extent of how red it was until i put makeup on so yeah but i don't feel like you can tell hopefully you'll be able to see i don't feel like you can see like the texture you can still see my dark spots but i at least like on my chin it's broken up some just because my skin is so incredibly dry right now, but I can't see the sandpaper texture under my makeup. So I think if you got this done and then went to work the next day, no one would necessarily be able to tell. It is Wednesday night. I'm getting ready to go to bed and I wanted to do one more update. I'm gonna try and do morning and night each day, but I wanted to show you my skin today. I don't see any difference yet. Um, so this is day, I guess, I almost feel like this area is darker. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I noticed it all day when I had my makeup on that it looked darker under my makeup today. My face is very sandpapery still. It feels so dry. I took my makeup off and then I've moisturized twice in the past like two hours just trying to make it feel moisturized, which I don't think is going to happen. So I think we have two more days, maybe three more days until most of it will fall off. So I will check in tomorrow morning. Also, I did want to note that I feel like most of the redness is gone. You can still see a little bit around my eyes, but for the most part, the redness is gone, which is nice. And when I washed my face, it didn't sting tonight like it did this morning in the shower, like that sunburn sting. I didn't have that tonight. So I do feel like it's kind of healing, but it obviously has not flaked off yet. It's Thursday morning. So here is a look at my skin. The redness I feel like is basically completely gone, minus a little bit on the side under my eye. It definitely still feels like sandpaper, which I think is just going to be the case until it just comes off, which I think is something that will happen as I wash my face in the shower. What I was told is that as I wash my face and my face gets wet, that top layer of skin will just come off. So we'll see. But this is the update as of Thursday morning. I'm going to put some makeup on and film some videos today. So 
hopefully I can make it look better than it did yesterday. I just put my contacts in and as I was just really looking up close, I actually do feel like in particular the spot right here, it almost looks like it was like broken up and Theo is playing on the floor. Anyway, I almost feel like it is like broken up. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it almost is like, it almost does look like coffee grounds, which is something they said wouldn't really happen like it does with IPL, but it does feel like the pigment almost was like dispersed across like the top layer of my skin. So it looks the most like that on this, but I think that it looks a little bit like that on all of them. I hope that that means that it's really gonna work. I'm like skeptically optimistic. I just feel like I've tried so many things for my skin and I've had people tell me certain things would work and then they didn't. So I hope that this actually does work. It's Friday morning and I wanna show you what my skin looks like up close before I slather it with moisturizer. I'm not gonna put any makeup on today. I've noticed that putting makeup on it just, it makes my skin, it makes me feel like I'm crawling out of my skin. Like I just want to itch the makeup off. And so I think my plan today is just going to be moisturize and then moisturize again and then moisturize again basically all day. Anytime that I feel like I need it. You can see, I'm hoping that you can see this, that it's like breaking, the pigment is kind of breaking up. The same thing over here. And then I'm noticing the same thing up here. It almost looks like the pigment has kind of like migrated all the way over here when it used to just be right here. So I'm hoping that that means that when all of this does come off, all of the pigment will be gone. I don't know how realistic that is to hope that, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, it definitely looks worse than it did before. And... <sighs> Everything that I read and the place that I went said that there's no downtime and I just feel like I have to disagree because like my skin is so dry and flaky that makeup looks awful on top of it. So because of that I feel like yeah I can put makeup on and I guess there's no technical like downtime but your makeup definitely doesn't look normal. So if you're somebody who you know is front facing and wears makeup all the time i feel like it's kind of a lie to say that you can just wear makeup and it'll look normal it does not so that's kind of where we're at today i'm gonna put a lot of moisturizer on right now i've been using the elemis pro collagen marine cream this is a really nice heavy moisturizer i feel like my light gel moisturizers are not doing the trick right now i need something like really heavy my skin still feels like sandpaper and it feels so dry. It is Friday night and I almost forgot to do an update, but here is what my skin is looking like. And I noticed that when I did my pre-cleanser today and then washed it, I did have a lot of like, almost like pilling coming off. So I do think that it's starting to come off of my skin. I think tomorrow and Sunday are supposed to be the days that the majority of it comes off, but I think it is starting the process now. I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much, but I would be lying if I said that they weren't up. It is Saturday morning and my skin on my chin and then on my nose feels slightly smoother, not smooth, but slightly smoother. I did wash my face this morning and then I lathered it with moisturizer, but here is what it looks like today. These spots really have just spread so much. It's wild how much bigger they are, but I really, really, really hope that that means that when they all come off, the pigment will be gone. I will check in tonight after I wash my face again. Um, so here's the update. It looks basically the same as it did this morning. 
Um, since I didn't wear any makeup today, I didn't have to do the double cleanse. And that's when my skin really pilled up yesterday. So I guess we'll see in the morning or tomorrow night if my skin pills anymore. It's Monday morning. I kind of think that I didn't do an update yesterday. Last night I was going to and I was reading the care instructions. It said that I could use a wet washcloth, soak my skin and then use a wet washcloth and kind of massage that on my skin and it would help get some of the dead skin off. I did that and I I was just so hopeful about these incredible results and I ended up taking some after photos or like I guess progress photos yesterday after I did that and I'll put them up on the screen. I just don't feel like there was a difference and that was really really discouraging last night obviously because I spent $450 on this thinking that I would get significant results which is what they told me they said significant results although my skin wouldn't necessarily be perfect she said definitely expect I'm quoting her significant results so I feel like that is not what I got at least not so far I'm going to give it a few more days they did say up to a week so tomorrow will be the week mark but I wanted to show you what my skin looks right now. Looks like, looks like right now. It is smooth all through here. It's basically just this outer area on both cheeks and then up here, but mostly like on the sides. That's kind of the only rough area. So the whole middle of my face is now smooth. All of that sandpaper feeling is gone. And that is kind of what I thought was going to take the pigment with it. So, yeah. This is where we're at. I have a follow-up appointment next week. And I'm interested to see what they say about the progress. Because, quite frankly, I'm just not really down to spend another $450 on a second treatment when I got... <laughs> I was on the floor playing when I got basically like no results at least not as of now it just seems like that would be throwing money away and at that point I'd be almost a thousand dollars into it with nothing to show for it so I I don't know I guess I'll see what they say it is Tuesday night and it's officially been a week since I did my treatment which they said a week would be when I had the final results so this I think is basically what my skin is going to look like. I did read the papers again tonight and it said that up to a month you'll get more results of your fine lines and elasticity, but that's not really what I was looking for. I was looking for the dark spots, so I think this is probably the result. I do still have a little bit of roughness around the edges, but that's it. Let's ignore the background because I am currently organizing this room for SB. We're moving in here. Anyway, this is, I'm sitting in front of a window so that you can see full natural light what my skin looks like. So. It is February 9th today and I got my original treatment on January 11th. So it's been just about a month. So this is where we're at. <laughs> Now that you've seen the full process, uh, I am very disappointed. <laughs> There's not another way to put that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a really close up of my skin. So you can see all of my dark spots are still very much there. This side, same thing. And then up here, I still have these marks. So that is kind of where we're at on that. So I have a couple of thoughts. One, when I went in for my follow-up, they showed me the before and after photos and their before and after photos look drastically, drastically different than the before and after photo photos that I took, which I don't know. I guess that's kind of frustrating because I went in very unhappy with my results. And then the woman who did it, came in and she was like, all I have to go by is these before and afters and look at this difference. And my skin just looked so much different in those photos. And so it was like, I didn't really have any way for me to back up like my thoughts because 
she had her own photos and I had my own photos and like they obviously go by the photos that they have. So my disappointment was just kind of like not validated when I went there. Beyond that, she obviously can't deny that I have all of these dark spots still and that they are not gone. And she, she said that doing liquid nitrogen on the spots will help them. It's kind of like when you get a mole frozen off, it's the same type of thing, just not quite as um, intense. And so they did that on all of those spots. And she said that after a week, that would be when I would see the full results of that treatment and nothing. They also recommended this cream, which I will uh, put it on the screen. I can't remember the name of it and it's upstairs, but I ended up buying it. I think it was $74 for, I want to say it's like a one ounce bottle. It had certain active ingredients that are good for brightening your skin and getting rid of dark spots, but it is ingredients that are safe for breastfeeding. So because I'm still nursing, my options of what I can use are limited. So yeah, that is, that's where we're at. Overall, I'm really disappointed. One, I feel like I should have just gotten IPL like I initially planned on it. As far as cost goes, IPL is cheaper, although you might need more treatments, but LASMD, obviously I still need at least one more treatment. Who knows how many I would need to get rid of my dark spots. And the treatment that I did for LASMD was $450, which based on a quick Google search is pretty affordable for that treatment. And then IPL, is less expensive, but again, you might need more treatments. I also have heard that LASMD is slightly less painful. Um, the pain, it wasn't terrible. It just felt like, almost felt like they were rolling over my skin with little needles. Like what I would imagine micro needling feels like is kind of what it felt like. And in the majority of my face, it wasn't that bad. It was just like right around the edges, which I think maybe they didn't numb it as enough, like didn't get the numbing cream far enough on the edges. I don't know. Either way, I am not sure yet what my next steps are. It's been a little bit over a month since I initially got the treatment done, which means that I could go and have a second treatment done, but I just don't know that I want to spend another $450 and end up in the same position. So I think that I might go to another place and get a consultation with them and see what they say. And I don't know. Maybe I would go the route of going ahead and getting IPL this time because I've seen really good results, like obviously online for that. Or I don't know if you've had the same issues with your skin, let me know down below. What did you do that finally got rid of it? I, I'm just concerned that I'm going to go down this hole of like, you know, three, four or $500 each treatment. And then I'm still not going to end up where I want to be. And I could have just gotten something for a thousand dollars and been done with it because at this point I've done the three chemical peels, Lays MD and bought that skincare. And so I think I'm right around like $700 into it and I feel like I have nothing to show. So yeah, that's, that is where we're at currently. Anyway, if you are considering this, I hope that you find this video helpful just even as far as like the procedure, the pain, the recovery. Um, I think maybe if my dark spots were not as dark or the pigment wasn't as deep in my skin, maybe I would have had better results. I really, I don't know, but this skin journey is not over. So stay tuned. Hopefully I will be able to do something else and get better results. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.